Good Friday, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Conversation Daddy Needs. Glad you all could be with us. Well, we made it to the end of another week and the beginning of a new month, so welcome to March. Before we get into today's broadcast, I want to let you guys know about something very exciting that's effective. Starting today, I have two business books available for pre-order on Amazon, and I'm very excited about these. One is coming out this month in March. One is coming out April 1st. The first book is Minding Your Business, 12 Keys for Growing Your Business Online and Offline. For over 20 years, I've been able to do that with Conversations Media Group. I'm sharing some great tips for all of you, regardless of the industry you're in. That book is coming out this month. April 1st, I have my first podcast directory called Embrace Your Influence Podcast Directory. For those who've been wanting to be able to share their messages on different podcasts, both audio and video, don't know who to contact, don't know what the procedure is, I'm going to walk you through all of that, give you a great directory to be able to use to help you spread the word about the work that you're doing. So please support. You can find both books by going to Amazon and my Amazon storefront at booksyouneedstore.com. That's booksyouneedstore.com. Now for today, of course, you have your news headlines coming up. Have a message from my book, Words That Choose to Live By, and in today's entertainment spotlight. Yesterday, I had an opportunity to interview actor John Hawks. Hear part of that conversation today. Enjoy our broadcast. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Savage Webb with their Friday headlines. In national news, Oprah Winfrey to exit Weight Watchers board after she announced use of weight loss drug. Oprah Winfrey will leave the board of Weight Watchers after almost 10 years, following the entertainment mogul's revelation that she is using a weight loss drug. Winfrey informed the company this week that she decided to not stand for re-election at the annual meeting of shareholders to be held in May 2024. She has served on the company's board since 2015 when she acquired a 10% stake in Weight Watchers. I look forward to continuing to advise and collaborate with Weight Watchers in elevating the conversation around recognizing obesity as a chronic condition, working to reduce stigma, and advocating for health equity, Winfrey said in the statement. In December 2023, Winfrey told People Magazine she had decided to start taking a weight loss medication, which she did not identify, after coming to the realization the weight management does not hinge solely on a person's self-control. The fact that there is a medically approved prescription for managing weight and staying healthier in my lifetime feels like relief, like redemption, like a gift, and not something to hide behind and once again be ridiculed for, she told People. Winfrey's agreement with Weight Watchers specifies that she will not engage in any other weight loss or weight management business, program, products, or services during the term of her relationship with the company and for one year afterwards, according to the company's filing with the SEC. After the disclosure that Winfrey will leave Weight Watchers' board, shares of Weight Watchers International fell more than 20%. With her departure, the company's board will be reduced from 10 members to 9. In more national news, House approves a short-term extension to avoid a shutdown. Senators are up next for a vote, says the Associated Press. The House passed another short-term spending measure Thursday that would keep one set of federal agencies operating through March 8th and another set through March the 22nd, avoiding a shutdown for parts of the federal government that would otherwise kick in on Saturday. The Senate was expected to vote next on the bill. The short-term extension is the fourth in recent months, and many lawmakers expect it to be the last for the current fiscal year, including House Speaker Mike Johnson, who said that negotiators had completed six of the annual spending bills that fund federal agencies and an almost final agreement on the others. We'll get the job done, Johnson said, as he exited the closed-door meeting with Republican colleagues. The vote to approve the extension was 320 to 99. It easily cleared the two-thirds majority needed for passage. Democrats overwhelmingly voted to avert a partial shutdown, but the vote was much more divided with Republicans, 113 in support, and 97 against. At the end of the process, now expected to extend into late March, Congress is set to approve more than $1.6 trillion in spending for the fiscal year that began October 1st, roughly in line with the previous fiscal year. That's the amount that former Speaker Kevin McCarthy negotiated with the White House last year before eight disgruntled Republican lawmakers joined with Democrats a few months later and voted to oust him from the position. In more national news, Judge blocks Texas law that gives police broad powers to arrest migrants who illegally enter U.S. A federal judge on Thursday blocked a new Texas law that would give police broad powers to arrest migrants suspected of illegally entering the U.S., dealing a victory to the Biden administration with a broad rejection of Republican Governor Greg Abbott's immigration enforcement efforts. 
The U.S. District Judge preliminary injunction, pausing a law that was set to take effect March 5th, came as President Joe Biden and his likely Republican challenger in November, Donald Trump, were visiting Texas' southern border to discuss immigration. The state attorney general's office immediately appealed the ruling, according to a statement on Thursday. The ruling rebuked Texas' immigration enforcement effort on multiple fronts, brushing off claims by Republicans about an ongoing invasion along the southern border due to record high illegal crossings. In a related story, Biden and Trump both arrive at U.S.-Mexican border, highlighting immigration as a major election issue. President Joe Biden and his likely challenger Donald Trump arrived Thursday in Texas, some 300 miles apart, for dueling trips to the U.S.-Mexico border in a sign of how central immigration has become to the 2024 election and how much each man wants to use it to his advantage. And finally, in business news, Wall Street climbs to close another winning month with more records. U.S. stocks climbed to more all-time highs on Thursday as Wall Street closed its latest winning month. The S&P 500 rose 27 points, or 0.5%, to 5,096 to top its record set last week. The Nasdaq Composite led the market with a gain of 144 points, or 0.9%, to 38,997, and surpassed its all-time high that it stood since 2021. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's on time for a message from my book, Words I Choose to Live By. Enjoy. Good Friday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Words I Choose to Live By. Though the world might seem to be swirling in negativity and darkness, you can choose to be a positive light that breaks through and guides others to what is possible in life. Instead of giving in to what seems the easy way, resolve that you are going to do your part to make a difference. Change is possible. Let it begin with you. Have a great Friday and enjoy your weekend. We are part of my conversation coming up with actor John Hawks on today's Entertainment Spotlight. Stay with us. You're listening to Conversation Daddy News. For Conversation Daddy News, I'm Cyrus Webb with Entertainment Spotlight. Actor John Hawks joined me on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about his success and the show True Detective Night Country. It's a bit of a conversation. Thank you so much for the time today, John. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you kindly for having me. I, I, I appreciate it as well. Well, the pleasure is definitely all mine. It's such an honor to speak with you. I've enjoyed you, of course, you know, in, in, in a lot of different projects, but definitely in True Detective Night Country. I want to begin there with you. I mean, what has it been like for you to see, as I mentioned in my intro, I think a lot of people kind of have this this love-hate relationship with with Hank Pryor, but what was it like for you to see the response to that character? Well, uh, I was happy that the show's well-received, and... Uh, and yeah, happy that, that people uh, were able to, I guess, as you said, uh, somehow relate to Hank. He's a he's a complicated guy. I, I you know, again, prefer to him prefer to think of him as, as misunderstood, <laughs> but he's he's uh, he's doing his best, and he has his reasons, and. Uh, uh, I was glad to see that the, that, that kind of hit with people. I hope you were known, John, throughout your career, though, to be able to really to to give your all to these uh, characters that you've been able to play. Is acting something that you always knew was a was a path that you wanted to go down? Well, I was a child star in my family. I guess I would say it was uh, uh, my you know folks divorced when I was young. There was there was some strife. Uh, I had a good upbringing, but uh, I think I tried to bring some relief uh, comedically. Uh, I grew up with one channel on TV, uh, uh, the black and white TV, and um, but there were stories there and, and, and stories in the books I read, and I was always interested in that. I, I, I didn't really know, coming from a small town in Minnesota, how to, how to be an actor exactly, and so I didn't think of it much until in high school when I started doing plays and, and really found it to my liking. And, a long time before I was able to earn a living uh, from that point, but uh, yeah, I guess I was always interested in it, um, not quite knowing how I could ever do it, I suppose. Yeah. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. Be back together on Mondays, more news, message from my book, words that choose to live by, and of course, your entertainment spotlight. And until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversation Daddy News today. Let's go make today amazing. Take care.